Our ancestors are sometimes people who we're not related to in this life. It could be a particular culture that we are drawn to, even though we've had no connection with the culture in this life. These are soul links to ancestors from a past life. These ancestors can be with us throughout many lives and offer us strength and wisdom. Many people feel drawn to Native American tribes and Native American culture, even though they've never been to Native lands, since the spirit of Native American tribes is very strong. They teach us to respect the land. They teach us that we don't own the earth and they teach us that we are all connected. May modern day cultures learn from the history of all indigenous tribes so all humankind can live together in peace and harmony without conflicts, conquests, commands and control. Many of these ancestors can appear to us as a guide. Throughout our lifetime, many guides can appear to us. Some stay with us a short time to help us with a particular situation, and some stay with us throughout our entire life or even lifetimes. They assist us to be in the best place for us, with the right people for us, and in the right situations for us, in order for us to learn and for our soul to progress. Prayer and meditation are the best ways to discover who our individual guides are. Our guides often contact us in visions and dreams, but also may send us signs and messages when we're going about in our everyday lives. Synchronicities and signs can be spotted all around us, but are easier to see and feel when we're surrounded by nature and in a peaceful, quiet state of mind. Please allow me to share my first encounter with one of my guides. Many years ago, I was meditating and a Native American man appeared before me in my head. He had very strong, magnificent features and just stood there looking at me. I asked him with my mind who he was and the word C-H-E-Y-E-N-N-E -E -N -N -E appeared and he told me he would always be close by. So, I thought to myself, you're called Cheney. The vision finished, but left me with a feeling of awe. It wasn't until some time later, whilst watching a spaghetti western movie with subtitles, that I realised C-H-E-Y-E-N-N-E -N -N -E was pronounced Cheyenne. I began to watch films on Native Americans, read books on Native Americans, and became fascinated with the areas of Montana, Wyoming, Colorado and South Dakota, and also with wolves, after discovering Cheyenne Chief Wolfrobe, who bore a striking resemblance to my guide. Seeing signs and feeling at home in various places around the world tells us that we're on the right path and going in the right direction for our journey. When my guide told me he would always be close by, he wasn't joking. This mountain in southern Spain is called La Concha, which means the shell, and it does look like a shell. However, if you look closely at the mountain top, you can see the majestic face of a Native American facing upwards towards the sky with his eyes closed, looking up the coast of the Mediterranean. But from another angle, he appears to be looking upwards with his eyes open, facing the opposite direction and looking down the Mediterranean coast where it meets the Atlantic Ocean. I've learned so much from my magnificent Cheyenne guide and I really thank him for all his wisdom and for being with me throughout my journey. He is always close by.